Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to uh, the Daily Dose series here. We've got Sins in the bottom left hand corner. His opponent Sharp in the bottom right. And I'm a big fan of Sharp. You guys have been following the channel for a while. You know that I met him in Thailand. And he expressed to me a very serious intention to take this season of ASL and the way he was talking the way uh, he was kind of committed to that project I felt like he might have a real chance to win it here now I don't know if that's going to manifest itself in the ASL but he's got my vote he uh, has my support this man absolute legendary Terran player one of the most aggressive Terrans that we've got right now. On par with people like Barracks, people like Speed, uh, in terms of aggression, but also very, very strong, very capable macro player as well. I think that he is destined for great things and hopefully in this season. So we're gonna take a look at him versus Sins, who is a very competent ladder Protoss player. We've seen him in the ASL before. We've seen him in many tournaments before, but you know, he's not on the level of someone like Snow or even Rain or anyone like that. He's more of a ladder Protoss. He has a lot of different accounts at very, very high levels. Very, very high uh, MMR ranking. And you know, he's that's what he's known for. That's what he does. Sitting here on a barcode as is Sharp and just playing his game, which is Ladder Protoss. We'll see if Sharp can handle it here. We are in horizontal spawns. The SCV just reaching the base here. Nice first scout from Sharp. He sees that it's not a Nexus first or anything like that. We are here on retro, so might be a little dangerous Nexus first against these positions. The rush distance through here and up to the natural is very, very short. So you have to take that into account for both sides. This is going to be a little bit hard for Sharp, who might want to... Ooh, he throws down an engineering bit at the front, realizing that there was uh, not a zealot being made here by Sins. Going directly into that Dragoon. Throws down the engineering bay, and that's going to uh, really slow things down. Nice catch there. Picking off the uh, SCV, but you know this is this is a moderate slowdown here right now. He's gonna throw down another pylon. I'm gonna start his Citadel. Okay, going right on into a DT play. I think this might be a reaction to being blocked here, realizing that he's not gonna get the really good uh, Nexus timing that he wanted. He's gonna mix it up and go for something crazy right now and. Sharp's gonna move out with his four Marines. He might try to catch this Dragoon as it's coming in, try to put some damage onto it. Just a little bit of shield damage there, nothing major. So I think Sins has dodged that effectively. Only one SCV on the gas here, so we will be seeing a CC come out pretty soon. This is very aggressive right now, what we're seeing from Sins though. He is going really, really fast DT here. Should be starting that. DT tech, where is the, huh? What, what, what am I looking at right now? Are we gonna get a, maybe doesn't have the, doesn't have the gas for it yet? I guess he's just got the gas now. It's funny to see him going singularity charge. He's going for dragoons with range and going for DT at the same time. But this is a nice probing push here from Sharp, which should be able to reveal a lot about the strategies going up against. Gonna dive right on top of the tank. The tank gonna be targeted down here. Really, really big kill by sharp or by by since they're on sharp sharp pushing forward even further here but he's just gonna see that there's no cc and he's gonna back away lay down some mines here now and you know start to react to this we should see my or we, we already have mines we should see ebay on the way here i think ebay should be a good choice there it is ebay coming up here immediately He's going to lay mines all the way across the map as he backs up in retreat, setting up these mines everywhere and right in front of the main base. He knows it's probably something like DT. On one base, there's not a whole lot of different builds that can be done by Protoss. There's like really super quick Reaver, really super quick DT, 
and not too much else. There could be like three gateways here and trying to build a huge amount of dragoons, but he would have revealed that with the number of dragoons that were here. He didn't see any of that. And actually a robo coming down now with the nexus. So this is putting Sins really far behind now. If he doesn't deal damage with this uh, attack here, he is going to be in a sorry, sorry state. But he will throw down a third nexus. So quick double expand. At six minutes, already dropping that third nexus. Kind of a makeup play here from Sins. He's going to try to put on pressure with DT while double expanding. Will it end up working out against Sharp, who's done a great job thus far? You know, the probing push out from him did exactly what it needed to do. Although he lost a tank, he's still very happy that he got the information that he did. Managed to push everything away, and now he knows for sure exactly what's coming here. Uh, aside from this shuttle, he's not definitely not aware of that shuttle, and that could actually pose a problem here for Sharp. He's... Not taking that into account, I think, just yet. Okay, he's starting to lay down mines around the outside of his base, which tells me that he's probably starting to pick up on this. Laying mines down here, it's very anti-drop play. These mines over here still could be like him trying to run by or something. He might get caught by the mine. Uh, these mines out here are all like anti-DT walking in mines. We need another turret though, maybe. If he was actually aware of a dropship coming, I think he would place another turret you know, behind here as well. We do have commsats coming up and online here. We don't have a lot of information out on the map for Sharp right now, so he does want to get some scouting going. Does not know about this third base yet, although he did see the Dragoon here on the high ground. Here comes that drop. He's expecting maybe a Reaver potentially, but it should be DT in here with the earlier DT tech. There it is. Going to drop the two DTs out. He's losing the missile turret, unfortunately. He does have the comsat, but even if he scans here, he's not going to be able to kill that because he will immediately pick up and bail out of this position. There we go. Walking within range of that turret. Can get some damage down on this, but he's actually trapped the tank. The tank is going to get trapped and killed here. Oh, man. A second turret goes down and that tank falls. So he is in a lot of trouble right now. We haven't seen a scan come out, though he does have some. He does have some scan ready and waiting here. Just surprised to see him not put that scan out. Is he actually going to scan now? All right. He's going to come after this uh, shuttle here. Try to deal some damage to that. Does pick off the one DT. He might be able to get this one with the mine. Going after the shuttle once again. Shuttle going to be pushed away for now. But that was a fair amount of damage. You know, Sharp was not perfectly prepared here. He's going to throw down a couple of scans. He sees that the third base is up operational. With plenty of probes there. And... This is not the greatest position for him anymore. He was in a great spot after scouting out the early DT tech. Figuring it out here. With that initial push. But now... Hmm, now it's not so easy. The double expand. Really putting Sins back on the map here. Literally and figuratively. He is way out on the map. Pushing away the mines and taking control here. Out in front of the Terran base. And what do we have from Sharp as a follow-up? It's going to go up to 5 Factory. And I think this is just going to be a push. Which seems a little... A little bit... Um, I don't know if this is going to work out for him. He's been saving some energy. So he's got... You know... 4 scan... 5 scan almost. 5 scans. With the Arbiters popping out though. And DT's in play. That might not be enough. He's going to have to like turret push, I guess, towards his opponent. He's just going to take a third base on location here. That's interesting. So maybe not going to just shove directly over towards uh, the Protoss. He's going to take this position. Set up over here by the natural. Take the position on the high ground here. This is definitely the easiest place to take on the map for Terran. This base right here. 
where you have the ability to siege tanks on this low ground and damage units coming up the ramp on this side. We've got vultures out on the map. Getting prepared for a potential fourth base from Sins here. Recall immediately being researched. So we are going to see a recall coming out of this Arbiter. Will it be successful though? We don't have anywhere close to Science Vessel with EMP. We're very far away from that. So we've got Starport here getting prepared for, I guess that upgrade timing. Pretty far off though on that is Sharp right now. He's been a little bit through the ringer here. Got the base up though, pre 11 minutes, not too bad. Took some damage from the DTs, but has kind of weak upgrades this game as a result. A lot of Zealots being pumped out. This is telegraphing to us that he's planning to do some sort of bust here, but I don't think he can bust through this. I think this must be for the recall then. I'm gonna recall a lot of Zealots, maybe go for the main. Trying to drop some DTs here in the main right now. Clearing out some positions. Not a bad idea to lead with the dropship to open up some spots here. But now there's going to be turrets laid down. There's going to be Goliaths here as well. Looks like he will be able to get in with that DT. Tries to pick off an SCV. Not able to get the kill. One Arbiter here floating around the top side of the map. It's very often that you see an Arbiter follow up to a DT play. They kind of work together well. Uh, the DTs force out a lot of scans early on and if the Terran player is trying to be aggressive towards you you can force out those scans and then the Arbiter pops and there's just not enough scan remaining to fight the Arbiter the, the army under the Arbiter so that can be pretty strong shooting his own factory just a little bit though getting a little tickle there and uh, the Arbiter is ready to fly in now again we do not have EMP tech EMP is still some ways away, so the Arbiter could make his way in here and deal a lot of damage. However, it appears like this is well enough defended that it would probably be suicidal to try and dive in there. Maybe he'll go for another location. Coming through this kind of choked up area. Gonna Wow, okay. Bring in the entirety of the army over here instead and just running the Zealots up into this base. This is an interesting decision from uh, Sins here. Really, really interesting. Not going to make too much headway over here. Looks like he's cleared up most of the army over there at the third base. The third base is being ravaged. The Dragoons go down en masse, though. So many Dragoons end up going down here. Can he actually return to this area and clean it up before this next army makes its way over to the high ground? That's going to be the question right now. Pulling out the SCVs. Ah, oh, the Zealots can run by on this right-hand side. A bit of an oversight here from Shine, uh, from Sharp, excuse me. What did I say, Shine? Everybody's a Zerg player in my mind. We've got Zealots here. Oh my gosh, that was a little bit scary. Almost dragged uh, the mine into those SCVs that were turning to work. And he is going to be able to clear out these Zealots. Losing a few more SCVs here, though, in the progress. And in the end, looks like Sins managed to get a probe up to top left. And with that probe, was able to throw down two bases. Now, losing a few probes, transferring towards the top left. That's not very good. More probes even going to get picked off here. That's pretty rough for Sins right now. He really wants to get that base in top left online. He's 10 probes behind the SCV count right now. Pretty brutal, but he will be able to run in here into the natural right now using the cloak from the Arbiter to get right on top of a lot of this army. Picking off Siege Shanks, picking off Vultures here. One stasis goes down on this vessel. Well, meanwhile, another attack running up this ramp here. I think this is the perfect position though for these tanks over on this side. Able to kill any units that are coming up and help to defend this uh, push here towards the natural. But there's still more stuff coming into this natural. And another wave of units coming from Sins over on the left-hand side here. A lot of SCVs are going to be going down. 
Sharp barely hanging on right now. Zealots pour in on top of these tanks. Not enough vultures right here to deal with all of this. And meanwhile, Sins is taking a massive advantage by snagging up bases in the upper left. Sharp barely hanging on at the moment. Losing control of his third, but he's still got miners over there. Still mining minerals, and he's still even on workers. To the Protoss, somehow, some way, able to hang in here. Gonna be able to get Vultures up to the high ground, but can he hold off against the next wave of units that's making his way over here? Tanks are gonna be able to siege on this low ground, try to help things out. Another stasis goes down on the science vessel. Another science vessel here, though, and another stasis. Oh my goodness, it's so frustrating right now for someone like Sharp, for someone playing Terran to just be con constantly denied uh, by these Arbiters the ability to even see your opponent's armies coming forward here, pushing everything back, but a lot of SCVs are starting to fall here. We're down to 46, trying to push up onto the high ground with those tanks ever so slowly. However, not a great scan here, not a great scan timing for coming out of Sharp. He's going to lose two tanks on this low ground. The third tank is being repaired right now, but he will have to retreat for now. More and more units piling up at the rally, though, as Sins continues to push forward. Nice pick on that science vessel. Really slowing down Sharp so much right now, and GG is finally called. The Dragoons on high ground able to take the day. What a crazy little game we've had here. A really fun one between Sharp and Sins. That first recall was so strange, don't you think? I mean, when have you ever seen a Protoss player not only not go for the main base, but also not go for an outlying base either, but recall in between the third and natural. Not on top of any tanks, but in between the two bases and then run up onto the tanks. That was... Very, very interesting, and it worked incredibly well. It just shows you the range of play and the diversity of strategies that can be utilized by an Arbiter player. It feels like maybe Protoss players abandoned this unit a little bit too soon. It was like the, the main thing that Protoss used for years and years and years. It was the strategy was Arbiter or Carrier, but in the past several years, people have been really pushing towards, or the Protoss players have been really pushing towards, uh, instead of Arbiter, going into Storm, Templar drop, Reaver drop, Zealot bombs, like bulldogging positions has become the, no the norm, but there's so much range of play that Arbiters offer that maybe those shuttles don't quite I wonder if we're going to see a resurgence in Arbiter play sometime in the future, guys. This has been your Daily Dose of Brood War, and I'll see you tomorrow.